Hi, this is Hadi Lish, interventional cardiovascular specialist. This is just a model of basic 101 uh, vascular access, uh, ultrasound based vascular access. So you need basically three components. The first one is an ultrasound probe that you really like and that is pretty uh, sensitive and detects uh, fine detail. Uh, it's definitely worth the investment. Number two, a micropuncture needle with a serrated tip that is echogenic. Uh, and the third is the, obviously the coordination between the two which makes it, which actually gets the experience of ultrasound based access. So often enough we see a lot of uh, mistakes with people placing the ultrasound probe right there and trying to kind of come down with the needle without being able to see the needle. Uh, other people just incline the ultrasound probe too much to a point where it actually passes the ultrasound. You're going to have to picture a 3D image where you're ultrasounding the tip of the needle and one little detail that may help a lot is on your way in, you can jiggle the needle back and forth to be able to see it and readjust the angle of your left hand or right hand depending on uh, how you're getting access in order to see the needle tip. The most important thing is to see the needle tip. If you don't see it, that's not ultrasound guided access. So my personal uh, preference, uh, obviously multiple techniques can be done, but my personal technique is I identify the target zone by fluoroscopy where the ultrasound needs to hit the artery. And I actually ultrasound almost in a 90 degree angle with a slight tilt. And then obviously the angle of entry into the artery has to be close to 45 degrees. So we don't want to start right next to the ultrasound access site, or the ultrasound imaging site. We're going to start obviously a little bit more proximal. And on my way in first, when I go in, I actually go back and forth on the, on the skin that I can see that I'm in the right coaxial um, axis. And then what I do is I adjust the needle angle in order to get, I can definitely see the needle tip by ultrasound here. And this model has, um, is a little bit thick and this is obviously a simulation. So this is a modified Selinger technique. Very important not to take your hand off of the artery once you have access, because by taking that off, you may displace the needle. It can either go too deep or it can get out of the artery. So make sure you keep your um, ultrasound on the patient right before you thread the wire. And a, obviously if the wire doesn't thread, uh, your assistant can hold the needle at that site, bring it down or readjust the angle depending on uh, how you access the artery.